Hey folks, Marcus here again from the Ash and Fly Shop. We've got another episode of Beginning Spay Tactics. And after you learn how to present your fly and approach a run, get a consistent speed, swinging through the run, mending, everything like that, at some point, you're gonna hook a fish. And when you're swinging flies with a spay rod, the hooking process, the hook set, a lot of that is a little bit different than single hand trout fishing and other types of fishing. So we're gonna show you kind of the things that you wanna do when you're setting the hook, but we're gonna start off right away showing you what not to do. So your cast is out there, you've set everything up, swinging across the run. I've got Chris downstream, he's gonna pull on the line and I'll show you what not to do. You get that grab, set. That's usually how that's gonna end. It's gonna end with you with your head down, just shaking going, oh man, I just missed a super sweet opportunity. And that's what we don't want to have happen when we're swinging flies. So. Let's run it back. I'm going to throw another cast. We'll let it swing downstream and we'll show you what we want to have happen. Oftentimes when a steelhead grabs the fly, it might just pull on it a little bit. And what that fish is doing is it's leaving its lie, grabbing the fly, and then coming back or turning across the current. So you'll feel that little tap and then it'll be a full push. And what you want to do is you want to leave that rod in place and then sweep slightly to the bank. That's exactly what you want to do. You want to leave the hook in place, sweep slightly to the bank, and that'll be a good ticket for success. So we'll run that one back one more time and I'll show you the proper technique. And it's important to notice that I leave the rod there until the line's really running off the reel and I never set towards the middle of the river. I'm always pulling towards the bank. So on this side of the river, I'm pulling to my left. If I was on the other side of the river, I'd pull to my right. So the line's coming in. This is when you're kind of anticipating a grab. Get that little grab and you sweep gently into the bank and you just sweep nice and slow into the bank and you keep that nice. <laughs> 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 you just get ripped by this. But that's what we're looking for. We're looking for letting that initial grab come through. And the biggest thing I can say, which honestly, I'm guilty of myself, is not waiting long enough. But you want to wait till you feel the tension of the fish. And that is totally critical. So if that fish grabs and it's pulling line, you might not feel the weight of the fish for a while. You'll just feel the line ripping out. But as it turns in the current, your rod will actually start to bend and you'll feel it load. And it's that loading that's telling you that the fish is in the current with the hook with good pressure in its mouth. And that's when it's time to sweep to the bank and start to put some pressure on the fish. So in an ideal world, we'd get a lot of kind of all or nothing grabs, like the fish is just takes the fly and is off immediately. But oftentimes that's not what happens in steelhead fishing. Oftentimes we get these grabs that are like a pluck or a pull. And it's really important to leave your line in the swing because what can happen is, like we're gonna do right now, you'll get a grab, a hard grab right there. And if you leave it, you can actually get, it'll come, and that, that type setup that we just did is a pretty common thing in steelhead fishing where you'll get a good pull. And if you pull it out, you pull towards the bank or you, you, know, you whiff it off the left side of you, that fish might be done. But if you leave the fly engaged in the swing and it plucks it on the far side and it's still swinging, it might come back and it might even come back stronger and eat it you know, on your near side. So it's really important I would say setting the hook, steelhead fishing with a spay rod, swinging flies, two most important things are, number one, leave it in the fish's mouth. If you're a big coffee drinker and you're planning on going swinging some flies, just don't have coffee that day. Just leave it in the fish's mouth. 
let that fish grab the fly, get that initial jerk, and then let the fish turn in the current, feel the weight, feel the rod bend, and then just bend slightly towards the bank side that you're fishing. So I hope that helps you after everything's done and you've, you've learned all the other tactics. I hope that helps you land the fish that you first took. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you very much for tuning in.